from this video we will start next chapter from electrophysics that is current electricity in 11th standard we have studied current electricity in that chapter first we have seen what is electric current then concept of drift velocity after drift velocity we have studied about resistors types of resistors different combination of resistors and then about electrical energy then also we have studied what is meant by emf of a cell we also find out resultant emf in series combination and in parallel combination in this 12th standard first we are going to see here kirchhoff's laws of electric network kirchhoff's laws of electric network there are two laws first law is called current law and second law is called voltage law after this kirchhoff's laws of electric network we will see one special type of network called Wheatstone's network or Wheatstone's bridge. It is a special type of network. We will find balancing condition for this Wheatstone network. Then, in the application of Wheatstone network, we are going to see here what is meter bridge. What is meter bridge? And then. what is kelvin's method of determination of resistance of galvanometer after this we we'll see one more instrument called potentiometer principle of potentiometer and then applications of potentiometer in laboratory in this applications we are going to see some experiments after this in this chapter there is a study of galvanometer this is third instrument galvanometer then we will see applications of galvanometer in this application we are going to see how galvanometer can be used as an ammeter and how galvanometer can be used as a volt meter this points we have to study in this chapter first i will explain here kirchhoff's laws of electric network kirchhoff's laws of electric network you know what is electric network electric circuit which is closed complete it is nothing but electric network before to see this kirchhoff's laws of electric network first you should know what is meant by branch branch in electric network then what is meant by junction point in electric network to understand what is meant by branch and what is meant by junction point in electric network consider a simple electric network as shown in figure this is one resistor 
this is another resistance here also there is third resistance here cell is connected and here there is no cell simple circuit closed circuit this is electric network first resistance second resistance third resistance and this is cell of emf key you must know what is meant by branch then you must know what is meant by junction point and what is meant by loop also first i will explain what is meant by branch branch in electric network this is called one branch branch is that part of electric network in which conductor or resistor is present here one resistor is present therefore this becomes one branch this becomes another branch this becomes third branch and this is also one branch where cell is connected what is meant by branch it is a part of electric network in which conductor or cell is connected resistor or cell is connected that is branch now what is meant by junction point give the names to different vertices of this electric network See this point. At this point, these three branches come together. This is called junction point. See this point. Here also, this branch comes. This second branch comes, and this third branch comes. Means this is also junction. if we consider this point then this also become junction point here also one branch is present and this one is another where resistance is connected in this branch resistance is present it is connected here this also become junction point this also become junction point this also becomes junction point it is the point in electric network where two or more than two branches meet together that point is called junction point and what is the loop this is electric network in electric network we may have different number of loops we may have different number of loops any closed path in electric network is called loop any closed path in electric network is called loop this is one loop a b e f e this is closed path this is another loop b c d e another closed path therefore this is also loop and this one is also one loop which one a b c d e f a this is also third loop loop means a closed path in electric network that is called loop junction means a point where two or more than two branches meet together that is junction point and what is the branch it is a part of the circuit in which component like resistor or cell is present you may say resistor 
और कंडक्टर वन एंड द सेम थिंग आफ्टर दिस नाउ वी सी हियर किर्चॉप्स लॉज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक नेटवर्क किर्चॉप्स लॉज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक नेटवर्क फर्स्ट लॉ विच इज कॉल करंट लॉ फर्स्ट लॉ विच इज कॉल करंट लॉ शॉर्ट फॉर्म इज के सी एल KCL means Kirchhoff's current law. What is this Kirchhoff's current law? First, we see statement. Statement of this current law. Then we will apply this law. in electric network what is the statement of this law in electric network in electric network at junction point at junction point in electric network At junction point, algebraic sum, algebraic sum, the current is zero. In electric network, at junction point, algebraic sum of the currents is zero. This is called current law or KCL, Kirchhoff's current law. Mathematically, we can write summation I equal to zero at junction point. Summation I equal to zero at junction point. This is current law. How to apply this law in electric network? How to apply this law in electric network? To apply this law in electric network, you must know sign conventions. What are sign conventions? Sign conventions are nothing but guidelines. With the help of which we will write here algebraic sum of the current. In sign convention, you come to know that which current is taken to be positive current and which taken which current is taken to be negative current. See what are the sign conventions. and then by taking one example we will apply this law in electric network for this first law sign conventions are sign convention if the current in the branch is approaching towards the junction point if the current in the resistor is approaching towards junction point then always consider such a current positive and if the current in the branch is leaving the junction point is going away from the junction point then always take such a current negative what is according to sign convention the current which is approaching towards the junction always take as a positive current and the current which moves away goes away from the junction point take always negative 
using the sign convention see how to apply this law in some electric network so that in some electric network there is one junction point p where different branches meet together different branches meet together i have drawn here four different branches so that through this branch current is moving i1 which current is passing through this branch i1 through this branch i2 to this through this branch i3 and through this branch i4 different currents currents passing through different branches is shown in figure this is junction point p by kcl at this junction point how to write the sum of this current c this current is approaching to a junction point therefore take it plus this current is leaving away from the junction point therefore take it minus this current is approaching to a junction point therefore take it plus this current is leaving the junction point therefore take it minus this sum is equal to zero this is called kirchhoff's current law you will get by kcl in this figure i1 minus i2 plus i3 minus i4 equal to g from this we can write i1 plus i3 equal to i2 plus i4 r1 plus i3 equal to i2 plus i4 see that this left hand side it represents the sum of incoming current and this right hand side it represents the sum of outgoing current means here we can say that at junction point the sum of incoming current is always equal to sum of outgoing current this is also kirchhoff's current law now this is second law called voltage law see what is this voltage law second law is voltage law kvl kirchhoff's voltage law first i will write here straight away then we will understand the meaning of that statement and then we will apply this law in some electric network how to apply this law in some electric network see what is the statement according to this law the electric sum of according to this law the electric sum of potential differences potential differences in each branch in each branch 
the algebraic sum of potential differences in each branch that is product of current and resistor potential difference means product of current and resistor and emfs of a cell the algebraic sum of potential differences in each branch that is product of current and resistor and emf of a cell in closed loop in closed loop of electric network of electric network is zero the algebraic sum of potential differences in each branch and emf of a cell in closed loop of electric network is zero mathematically we can write this kitcha voltage law like this summation i into r plus summation e r is equal to zero in closed loop summation i into r plus summation e is always zero in closed loop this is kitcha voltage law in any closed loop of electric network take the sum of product of current and resistance for each branch and also take the sum of emfs present in that closed loop by this second law you get this sum sum of product of current and resistance and emf always zero how to apply this law in electric network to apply this law in electric network you must know sign conventions what are sign conventions here i will explain sign conventions with the help of this figure i will explain sign conventions with the help of this figure so this is some electric network where there are three resistors or three conductors having resistances r1 r2 r3 and two cells of emf e1 e2 connected as shown in figure consider that through this branch current i1 is passing through this branch current i2 is passing and through this branch current i3 is passing give different names to this junction points a b c d e f we have taken this electric network now see sign conventions first and then using this sign convention we will apply this law in any closed loop of this electric network in this electric network there are three closed loop one is a b e f a second is b c d e b and third one is a b c d e f a first what are sign convention to understand sign conventions in given loop we have to assume here one direction clockwise or anti clockwise give one direction in that closed loop clockwise or anti clockwise in this closed loop i have considered clockwise direction while tracing this closed loop in a given direction while tracing this closed loop in a given direction 
while tracing this closed loop in a given direction if current in a branch passes in same direction current in the branch is pa uh, current in a branch passes in same direction then always take the product of current and resistance for the branch negative and if the current in the branch passes in opposite direction that we have given then for that branch we have to take the product of current and resistance plus positive these are the sign conventions to write summation i into r now what are sign conventions for summation e which emf we should take as a positive and which emf should be taken as a negative emf see what are the sign conventions to write summation e while tracing the closed loop in a given direction while tracing the closed loop in a given direction if we come across four positive terminal of that cell positive terminal of that battery then always take the emf of that battery negative and if we come across first negative terminal of the battery then write its emf positive these are the sign conventions to write summation e now using the sign conventions i will apply this kvl for this closed loop a b e f a and also for this closed loop b c d e p apply kvl in closed loop apply kvl in closed loop a b e f a see how to apply first give one direction already i have shown clockwise direction in that loop now see in this branch what is the direction of current this one this one is one branch this is another branch in this branch current is passing in same direction therefore for this branch write the product of current and resistance minus current is i2 resistance is r2 in this branch current is passing in opposite direction that we have given therefore for this branch right this product plus take the product of current and resistance plus and now in this closed loop while tracing the closed loop we come across here first positive terminal of the cell therefore we have to write here its emf minus this is equal to zero this equation you will get in this closed loop after applying kv now applying kvl applying kvl in second closed loop second closed loop is here b c d e b b c d e b give one direction in that loop I will give you a clockwise direction. Now see the current in this branch; it is passing in same direction. Therefore, I am writing the product of current and resistance minus. The current in this branch is passing in opposite direction. Therefore, I am writing the product of current and resistance plus. And while tracing this loop. we come across here first negative terminal of the cell therefore right emf plus equal to c this equation you get by using kvl in this closed loop this equation you get by using kvl in this closed loop 
This is called voltage law. These are the Kirchhoff's laws of electric network. Now, after this, we will see a special type of network called Wheatstone's network. Special type of network called Wheatstone's network. What is Wheatstone's network? First, I will explain here construction of this network. After that, we will see when this network is said to be balanced and then we will find balancing condition for this Wheatstone's network. This point is very important with respect to exam. Generally, question is asked on this point. Often balancing condition for Wheatstone's breach, three marks. See, how is this network? When we say that network is balanced, and what is the balancing condition for network? This network It consists of this network. It consists of four resistances. Four resistances P, Q, R, S arranged up in. Arranged in quadrilateral A, B, C, D as shown in figure. These are the four resistances P, Q, R, S. Arranged in quadrilateral A, B, C, D as shown in figure. Across these two diagonal points, Cell is connected or battery is connected while across these two diagonal points galvanometer with resistance is C is connected. This is galvanometer. It is an instrument which is used to measure the current. It is connected in between these two diagonal points B and D. Across these two diagonal points, cell or battery is connected. This type of connection is called Wheatstone's network or Wheatstone's bridge. When we say that this bridge is balanced, when we say that the bridge is balanced, the bridge is said to be balanced. This network is said to be balanced when no current passes through this galvanometer. When no current passes through this branch BED. When this galvanometer shows zero deflection. Or when these two points are at equipotential. When we say that the network is balanced, when galantra shows zero deflection, 
this network is said to be parallel means when zero current is passing through branch b d to find balancing condition for this network apply kirchhoff voltage law in this closed loop and in this closed loop apply kirchhoff voltage law in this closed loop and in this closed loop to apply kirchhoff's law we must know the current passing through each branch and also we must know the resistances present in each branch so that the current that we get from this positive terminal of the battery it diverts in two different paths a current passing through this p resistance i1 and to this s resistance i here zero current is passing therefore same current i2 you get in this dc branch and same current i1 you get in this bc branch consider that the current that we get here splits in two paths take current passing in ab branch i1 and in this ad branch i2 here zero current is passing therefore same current i1 you get in this bc branch and also i2 in dc branch now we can apply kvl applying kvl applying kvl in closed loop take loop here a b d a applying kvl in closed loop a b d a in this branch the current is passing in same direction that we have given therefore i am writing for this branch the product of current and resistance negative current is i1 resistance is p here also do zero current is passing to apply kirchhoff voltage law who assume that there is a current in this direction for this branch right product minus zero into g zero is the current passing through this branch and g is the resistance of this current why minus sign because the direction of current that we have assume is same that is clockwise now for this branch you get product i2 into s plus this is equal to zero there is no emf in that loop only you will get summation i into r here from this we get i1 into p equal to i2 into s equation 1 I one into P equal to I two into S equation one. Now applying KVL in closed loop. Applying KVL in closed loop B C D B B C D B. Again give clockwise direction. the current in this branch is passing in same direction therefore for this branch the product will come negative the current in this branch is passing in opposite direction therefore for this branch the product of current and resistance will come plus and also for this branch will get product plus zero into g this is equal to g from this we get i1 into q equal to i2 into r equation 2 take 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 gives us i1 into p upon i1 into q is equal to i2 into s upon i2 into r this i1 i1 get cancel i2 i2 get cancel we get here p upon q equal to s upon r 
P upon Q equal to S upon R or P upon S is equal to Q upon R. This is the balancing condition for this Wheatstone's method, uh, Wheatstone's network. P upon Q is equal to S upon R or P upon S is equal to Q upon R. When these resistances are in proportion, when these resistances are in proportion, P upon Q equal to S upon R, or P upon S is equal to Q upon R, then and then you will find that this network is balanced. This is called balancing condition of Wheatstone's network. This one is very very important. Generally question is asked on this for three months. In next video, I will explain what is Wheatstone's meter print.